Boop. The button has been pushed. Say hi. Hello. That was one high. I said chirp. Oh, I said go. hello. There we go. All right. Uh, I suppose uh, we could get started here. Uh, it's time for the last time on Silk and Silver Tongues. I point at Durgo. Uh, we kept fighting some golems. We killed some bony ones. Gyro turned into a bony one, I think. I don't know. We killed the final one. It's protecting some dragon skull or something. On that, we poofed back to the place. Someone got told some stuff, and we appeared here at the temple. That was a pretty good, uh, really small summation, I, uh, I suppose. Does anybody else want to add anything else? Uh, Paolo learned a new word. I did! Paolo read something that he was supposed to get in the... in between times, but I don't know if he did or not. I did! In the in between times. And now we're back oh, by our... Yes. Yeah, yeah, that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I DM'd Paolo. Uh, so. He does oh, yeah, and, uh, Damien's uh, up on the roof. Uh, molesting uh, our friend. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you guys are in uh, the temple itself, uh, as previously uh, described. Um, I mean, you guys are kind of in that weirdly ethereal sort of plainish world, but you just hear in the uh, the copy of it through the uh, uh, through how it looks through spirit eyes, effectively. Uh, the candles all around are still lit. You can definitely see that there are a couple people here in the, uh, I mean, by now it'd be rather early morning service, um, that are just kind of, uh, doing their, uh, doing their, uh, their prayers to soft whisper here in the, uh, the actual, uh, church. A little bit more than what you might suspect is normal, given that the, uh, the actual festival is around the corner. Um, though, uh, there doesn't seem to be like a, like, Anybody who's noticed that you guys have gotten here or anything like that, I mean, you guys are uh, the spirited, as it were, so. I fly to the roof. Uh, you fly up, whoosh, and thud into the ceiling, bonk. I, I, I fly to the roof. Okay. I will go through it if I need to. Uh, you try to fly through the roof, uh, but uh, unfortunately you can't. If you don't, if you do recall, I believe, uh, Hunting Forest had also tried to smash through the walls uh, before you guys went into the Metropolis and horribly failed. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> use the door, dumbass. I used the door. Aha! And like a civilized spirit, you use the door uh, and uh, go through it. I chase I'm, after. Uh, there's not necessarily uh, a door that's closed or anything, so you just kind of float out. Whee! And the party follows. Uh, I'm gonna go through the door, but I'm also gonna go through people. Just be a jerk. Uh, give me a D100, you. Alright. Nice. Uh, nobody gives you any funny looks like a ghost pass through. Alright. I'm getting a lot of errors. Alright. Uh, you exit the temple past the little statues of great sphinxes on the outside. What do you do? I go to the roof! Whoosh! Up toward the roof you go! Uh, upping, uh, kind of scaling the almost semi-pyramidic structure of this here temple until you come up on top of the roof. And there, uh, you do see what seem to be four different, um, uh, the, effectively the four different sides of the temple kind of up, uh, with Kind of a like a glass, uh, glass, a glass over top of each side. I'm sure you guys can kind of see it on the map here. This is kind of an accurate representation of how it looks here, um, uh, with a, a one in the center to allow sunlight in from five different points. Um, otherwise, the uh, the actual roof around that is more flat than not. Uh, give me a perception roll. Line. Uh, line. Right. Oh, right. I remember why um, 
you can't go back in your body? What? It's because your body's not your own right now. It ran off with my girlfriend. <laughs> it came back with my girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Uh, I see hunting roll, dir rolled, dir rolled again. Uh, oh, it's because uh, the first one was in private. Elite deal. Gets working title. Uh, you do have a uh, working title in spirit no. form. Yes. How dare you? There you go. All right. So Night Vale, Hunting Forest, Dirt Gyro, and working title. Fantastic. Uh, you guys uh, look around. Uh, working title and Night Vale. Uh, you guys specifically more easily uh, spot some activity going on behind uh, what seems to be the. Uh, on the, that central spire there. And, uh, I'll pull you guys to just a kind of really basic map of what the top looks like. Uh, just so you guys kind of have a visual aid here. Uh, where is... I need to find a uh, thing with your tokens really quick. I think this one has it. Yeah, this one has all your tokens. Let me grab these. Just so I can pull them all to one map. Look at that. Where's Dirt? There he is. Tiny dirt. Copy. And paste. I'll like put you guys over here in the front. Eight. Here. It's gonna be very, very bare bones, but it's just a visual aid. Uh let's see. I'm blind. Yeah, yeah. I, I can only see myself, so it's very bare bones. There we go. Uh and I'll just reset. I can only see gray. Bonk. Right around here? Yeah? Yeah. Still dark. It's gray. gray. A couple white boxes, a cat bird. Well, like I said, it's very bare bones. I just like wanted a, a visual aid for you guys here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, uh, you guys fly up. I will put down things here, just so you guys have them. So I have a, uh, there we go. Aha. All right, and uh, back to the rolls. Um, Night Vale and uh, Working Title. Let me pull up your companion here, just so you have them on the map too. Bonk. <laughs> did you really make? Did you really make Working Title's token just a smaller version of Night Vale? I didn't. <laughs> that, that's what happened when I drug it on. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> it no, Night Vale's name is under that. That's Night Vale. Oh, Working that title's is a big one. Shoot. <laughs> oh no. I, I just drug it on. I made the default token name Night Vale. <laughs> All right, I yeah. don't know. Here we go. I'll do it again. Bonk. There we go. Um, and uh, fluttering this way, I. Uh, you two, with your bat ears, uh, hear something from this direction. Hmm, look at that. I... I fly there. Whoosh, move yourself. Look at you go. Uh, and you do spy things. Uh, namely, um... Uh, a, a similar sight to what you guys had observed on the, uh, the top of the, um tower where you were fighting those alchemical golems there. Uh, it seems to be uh, your good friend Damien no, oh, in all of his glory, sitting there and looking very intently at uh, Zakira, whose eyes are still closed, though she does sit still upright. He kind of tilts his head right, tilts his head left. He seems to be considering something. Though, more notably, as you uh, kind of get a better view of him, you do notice that he does not necessarily have a necklace on, as when you left him. I slap him. You attempt to slap him. Oh, you're sure that it probably would have been a great slap. Unfortunately, your hoof goes through him. Whoosh. I try to go inside Zakira. You do so. Uh, floating toward uh, Zakira, where, um, wherein, as previously, uh, before you guys had left, uh, left her there, you do see what seems to be almost like a, a kind of voidish. Uh, area where her necklace would be though you fitting yourself in that uh, into her her space effectively 
does not seem to accept you in that in uh in her uh in her place. Stop trying to penetrate the Kira. I need something. Uh and then it's about this time when you're trying to get into the bodies that you do hear Damien kind of speak more toward um uh, more toward uh, Zakira than anything. My, my, dear. How long do you think it'll be till they come and get you? And he kind of looks out over uh, over the top of the temple toward the necropolis a little bit. And he takes seemingly a pretty deep breath. <sighs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And he shakes his head, shake, 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 shake. Mm. Undoubtedly, that they will want to fight, I'm sure. And he starts kind of pacing, pacing, pacing. I wonder who they'll bring with them. Perhaps that dragon. Oh, it would be good, for, good fun to have, what was he again? Some kind of witch, shaman thing about. Oh, he was good fun, wasn't he? And he kind of smiles, he smiles. And then he kind of uh, reaches onto his back and pulls... Uh, from it, uh, the uh, the staff that uh, that you had there, uh, Night Vale, and he kind of fingers along a bit. Mm. I never had a staff. Oh, I was going by the art piece. Sorry. What did you have on you? Because whatever you have on you, you pull out something and finger it. And a bomb, which would explode on touch. <laughs> I don't think that that's <laughs> how it works. Oh uh, boy, but he, he'll, he'll take out uh, just something uh, from the bag, namely kind of rummaging in it for a little bit uh, before. I think so. Your cock and fingers this. Uh, before showing that uh, that necklace that uh, you had left him with, and he kind of traces a hoof around it a little bit. Oh, he'll probably try to be taking this vessel back, I'm sure, but not yet. And he kind of puts it back into his bag. <laughs> Hmm. He, uh, once again, goes over back to where he was, sits, and looks at, uh, uh, looks at the closed eyes of Zakira. It's unfortunate, really. And he, his hoof comes under, puts, like, right under her, uh, her chin a little bit. Um, and, uh, kind of lifts her head up a little bit. Uh, you guys do kind of notice that, um in her current form she's not exactly she doesn't exactly look like a Kieran she does look to be in her current um, doppel form or change thing form uh, though the hair and uh, hair and general colorization still matches he, um, he looks back toward the necropolis keeping itself where he was really unfortunate I have to say wouldn't have expected somebody like you to get involved Honestly, if you didn't poke your nose around and try to be a journalist as much as you were, maybe you'd be safe. He takes his hoof away. I just looked to uh, Ghost there. He really likes to hear himself talk, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> I am just fuming. <laughs> Fuming? Yes. Jairo was very upset. Trying to guess why he would remove the collar. collar I mean the neck I mean the neck yeah, yeah. it's like there's a line there <laughs> between what's uh what's what's each one but uh yeah well, uh, what are you guys doing just kind of as he's using to himself uh I still can't fuck with him at any way so uh the only way to get our uh cells back is to Get those, uh, these tags to our bodies, if I recall correctly, like the physical ones. Yes, but we literally can't interface with the physical world, so I am unsure of how we're going to manage this. God, one of us should have fucking stayed behind. I am aware of one person who stayed behind. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we'll, uh, my snake! <laughs> Uh, your snake, um, and, uh, if you do recall, you had seen the form of Pingwing from atop the, uh, the tower when you guys were looking through that telescope. Mm hmm So, yeah, I guess we'll go bother Pingwing, but... I don't so know how we could. 
tried to bother Penguin. We can haunt him. Yeah, we can. We have. We can throw our uh, necklaces in more statues, then beat him up. Fly back to the necropolis. Hey, yes. actually, is he? He's heading to the necropolis, isn't he? No. No. Uh, I'll pull you guys to Wati to show you where you guys last seen him. He was uh, at the Sphinx when we saw him. Yep, yep. He seemed to be at the Sphinx with a couple other adventurers, uh, and they seemed to have been discussing something, or just being near each other. You can't really tell because you're just a far distance away, it's not like you could have of them. Yeah. Well, I know they're eventually going to head to the Necropolis, so we'll head to the Sphinx, and if they're not there, we'll head back. And... Okay. Hey. I'm going to fly to where I put my necklace in the spiritual world. Uh, what was that? I, the, I'm gonna fly to the Sphinx, and more specifically to the place where I used my necklace before, just because. Okay. The bird agrees. <laughs> Uh, you guys fly there, whoosh, uh, using your spiritually wispy forms to zip along the skies. It's very nice. Uh, and uh, alighting down, you do find yourselves between the two great paws of the Sphinx of Wati, uh, right in the place where uh, you uh, you were able to fit in your little spiritual necklace here. Uh, I feel it's it's is there a physical necklace there? What was that? The physical one there? Uh, you check to see if the physical one is there, and uh, do you actually see that uh, peering through the veil of this uh, this here spirit, uh, spirit plane that yes, there does seem to be a necklace in that place. Scream. Why? What? Why? <laughs> Why what? Why a necklace there? Why would Damien put a necklace there? I mean, that's for me to know and you to find out. I'm not asking you, I'm asking the universe. No. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? I care? It's about, uh, it's about at this point that you do hear, uh, the sounds of something coming from around the side of the Sphinx there. Uh, Hunting Forest will fly over to it. You zip around the corner to see what you might see and start to hear. Sounds to be almost arguing voices. Come on, Ping. We don't have all day. I'm trying. Shut up. Shut up. It's not like you guys know what you're doing. I doubt that he has any sense about him. It's probably a good thing that we dipped on him and uh, that he dipped on us from Aralon, honestly. I don't know why we're bothering with him now. There's kind of an awkward shuffle as you see the, uh, the sight of Pingwing with the other uh, hippogriffs who are originally making fun of him around the... Uh, um, around the, um, uh, effectively, Ooh. yeah, yeah, the, uh, well, the place that you'd last seen him over, uh, in the, here. Uh, I need to... We're in a very spiritually <laughs> significant place. I'm going to try and take possession of one of the, uh, the hippogriffs. Uh, take possession, eh? Yeah. You could certainly try. How are you trying? Um, I don't know. Do they have any, uh, uh, are they wearing any of those necklaces that are probably pretty common around here, especially around the, uh... uh none of them <laughs> seem to be, uh, wearing any of those necklaces, um, and, um, feel free to give me a knowledge local. Oh boy, my ten. <laughs> Let's see if you can, uh, see how you roll there. Yeah, um, and it's more like at this point, it's a little bit more common knowledge as you've been in these areas for a decent amount of time. Um, it would make sense that they don't have a necklace, given that mostly it seems Persians and Sphinxes are the... Um, Persian Sphinxes and just felines in general are the ones who normally have them. It's kind of, rare. Know. It's kind of rare for I'm... ponies and them to have one without having pilfered it from a grave. Circa you. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to uh, grab them and try and insert my spirit into them and concentrate really hard on my my will. <laughs> uh, which one are you going to? There was a rogue, there seemed to be some kind of uh, 
a big barbarian dude and one person with uh seem to be about in the middle kind of has the little liar you know what the barbarian probably has the weakest will so we'll go for him all right you go for the barbarian and focus really 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 hard i think trying to grab his shoulders and everything the whole nine yards yes yep uh and try to take over his uh his spirit in this very spiritual place the more you try the harder you concentrate does not seem to really phase him at all in fact he just kind of seems to steer through you down at uh penguin who's looking through his notes which now you can see upon a closer inspection gyro have a lot of little diagrams of the necklaces specifically a couple of them you see some other scribbled things uh namely question marks with like the names dur uh dur's on there gyro's on there uh you know uh even uh night veil is though he just has the word uh veil um, just kind of scribbled in and uh, with other little arcane musings and things uh, and continuing to stare down at Penguin. Uh, he just uh, kind of speaks up a little bit. How long is this going to take? I told you it's going to take me as long as it does and you can stop complaining and he points upwards. I'm tired of you. Oh, I wouldn't speak like that around here. There's nobody here to see you now, isn't it? you see penguin just kind of glare upwards a little bit and he just keeps just, quiet okay i have an important question do spirits pee <laughs> do spirits pee yes i don't think they do you don't have okay. to you don't have to eat or drink so oh there goes that idea <laughs> uh and it's about this time when um you do see penguin kind of Close his book and look up at the uh, the Sphinx statue. <sighs> I know this has something to do with something. I look at this, and he kind of goes back over toward the front paws, and he looks at it again, uh, with the, the place where you get inserted the necklace to get a mint out of the uh, the Sphinx there. Uh, and he kind of thinks a little bit. Uh, and don't. It's not racist. But Sphinxes do like the riddles, and he points toward the riddle that was on there that you guys saw uh, before. Um, the plaque below reading, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And he kind of uh, thinks a little bit. Hmm. He thinks and he sits. Why would this be here? I feel like it has some like kind of significance. I feel like, and he thinks he thinks more, more and more and more. Hmm. I do like puzzles. He smiles. Did, did we ever check out these things' like eyes, or? Wait, I remember we had very slight effects on like a weapon or something like that when we tried to mess with it. Yeah. Well, we're in sand, which is very light, very very light. Just magical weapons only. Hmm. Is the sand magical? Is the sand sacred at a sacred site? I, mean, you could uh, I don't think we're playing by Highlander rules here. <laughs> also, keep in mind that divine magic is not arcane magic. Uh, and I mean, I mean, magic weapons don't actually specify divine or arcane. Yeah, they do. You need to be arcane caster to craft it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's made by. Although that would be pretty neat to see, like a divine, a divine crafter. Wonder if that's a that's wonder if that's a build. Uh, penguin kind of stands. You see him kind of look back a little bit. It's been like a whole day. Uh, and he thinks a little bit. Can't you guys be any more help? I'm trying to. Help my friends back. I'm sure that they're probably doing something stupid. And he kind of shakes his head. Shake, 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 shake. Supposed to be helping us, not his friends. Well, no, he's like telling the other people, like, if there's anything, like, <laughs> they could do to help. Because he seems to have, at least yep. from the perception here, seems to have been doing most of the legwork and trying to help with something. No, uh, I, I mean, he was supposed to help us, not his friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's looking up at him and wondering. I swear I don't hate France. 
The, the joke is we're not his friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and the rogue kind of speaks up, holding up, a, flicking up the little knife she has, uh, she had up in the air. Oh well, I mean, if they've gotten themselves in trouble, why is that uh, matter to us? And he squints. You are Banner Mains too. And he kind of does it spitefully a little bit. And quite frankly, and he goes up and you see Pingwing push a claw into her chest a little bit. I'm tired of that attitude of yours. Honestly, you should be more of a team. And he um, he squints a little bit and she kind of pulls a uh, claw back. My, my, you've gotten yourself quite a little bit more confidence than the last time we've met. And he... Um, he keeps his he keeps his, his gaze kind of fixed. All right. Well, I do want to f uh, solve this issue, and I'm sure that the uh, and he kind of looks toward the temple. Uh, what what they told me is probably uh, probably correct. Probably, but yes. I mean, they did the thing with this. Well, you know what it is. I, I'm not gonna explain it to you. He kind of waves a off around. Yes, yes. Clerics in their auguries always know what's up, don't they? Hmm. He looks back. Well, yes. That's why I'm thinking that they're probably doing something stupid right now. He thinks, he thinks. Well, what do you suggest then, oh captain? Uh, and he kind of thinks. Hmm. Well... Uh, and he looks down toward his diagram, just seems to be looking at the necklaces. I feel like these have to do something with something. And no. And he looks Can the Hunting Forest uh, fly into the necklace? Uh, he just has a diagram of a necklace. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you actually had the physical thing. No, no, that's the, the notes that Jiro okay. and went over there. Um, and kind of considering a little bit. Well, I mean, they are in the temples. Their eyes are closed. They have these on their chests. What are you to assume? Hmm? And he looks toward the uh, the group there. Ugh. You don't have to be pandemic with me. Clearly something's up. Either Wait, they, they have necklaces they have... on their chest? No, no. He's talking about uh, you guys. Yeah, I know. I mean, we have necklaces on our chest. Oh, that's a new development. Yeah, and uh, he kind of... Um, it's an important detail. <laughs> he thinks for a moment, he thinks for a moment. Oh, uh, yes. I mean... And he kind of... Uh, thinks. Uh, you see Penguin kind of turn a little bit of a, uh, a darker shade. I may or may not have gotten some on them. And where did you get those exactly? I don't want to talk about it. And he shakes his head. Shake, 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 shake. And quite frankly... <laughs> I don't know, that priest probably doesn't appreciate me having put them on that. Hunting Forest is going to uh, head yeah, back to yeah, the I temple will, and... Yeah, uh, we're yeah. going to Pingwing at this point. <laughs> what was that? We're going back to the temple then. <laughs> He's just leaving Pingwing there to... Okay. Whoosh. Yep. Alright, Is his away. book open currently? His book currently is open, yes. Well, you see, I played Phasmophobia. Uh, so I'm going to write in the book saying, go to the temple and fly away. I know ghosts can do this because I played a game that can do this. <laughs> Based. All right. Uh, you do your best, uh, though it doesn't seem like Penguin necessarily may have taken notice. I'm sure. Uh, I, I guess I'll stay near Penguin myself. Uh, you stay near Penguin yourself as the others go to fly toward the temple. Whoosh! And that's when Night Vale you hear. So how long did it take you to make those anyway? And Penguin looks left and right, and he looks like super, um, super embarrassed. What? I didn't make them. What makes you think? I can tell you're lying from a mile away. And the rogue kind of squints him down. You'd think that you wouldn't lie to somebody who's clearly better at it than you are. Keep squinting, squinting, squinting. Right, that's enough sass from you. You guys that are headed toward the temple, uh, whoosh, uh, get to the temple doors. Or door, well, open doors rather. What do you do? I'm going to head to my bike. Uh, well, you can certainly give me a perception check to see if they're in this room. I mean, we sh 
I guess unless they were moved, but we know which room they were supposed to be in. Uh, you do know that there is a back room, yes, uh, though you had to have Damien open it in Paolo's form they, before. They put it in the basement. <laughs> Uh, looking around the room, however, it does seem that your bodies were moved from the uh, from the altar itself, uh, likely prior to uh, opening the uh, the church for service for the few that wanted to come in in the early morning. Um, yeah, I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate our uh, corpses on the altar. <laughs> They're much. not corpses. We're not dead. I mean, our spirits have left our bodies, like. I think that's pretty much the definition of dead. Yes, I mean, comatose, if anything. Um, but uh, but certainly, uh, they don't seem to be here. Now, if you had, uh, you do have the at least enough insight to surmise that may perhaps is in that uh, that back room uh, that uh, that Sakira's body was held in actually, um, originally. The problem here is is that the door seems to be closed. And the last time you guys had got to go in here, you had to have somebody in the physical world open that door. Uh, that's because we went through it in the physical world. Well, no. Um, uh, uh, Palo, I guess, uh, I guess Night Vale, really, uh, in the physical world was taken over by Damien's thing, and they had walked through that door, and you guys had slipped in past while he was opening the door. It's in the same it's... realm of you guys can't go through the walls of the temple because it's a sacred temple here. How are we opening uh... the front doors of the temple then? What was that? So how are we opening the front doors of the temple then? I mean, that's for you guys to try to see if you can, uh, you can work around for, I mean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Hunting Forest is going to turn into his whiskey form and Squeeze through the bottom of the door. You turn into your wispy form to try to see if you can wheedle in anywhere. You squeeze, 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 squeeze. Uh, and uh, going toward the bottom of the door, start to try to push your way under. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. It does not seem to be affording you much of a way to squeeze under. These are such lame spirit powers. <laughs> Uh, some of the uh, the other uh, will -o will o wisps that are kind of going around um, kind of stop curiously as if looking at you. You hear giggling from a distance. Giggle, giggle. No, that's it. I'm just gonna try to break through the door. <laughs> you just gonna try to run up the door again? Yeah, let's try to sunder it. <laughs> when in doubt. All right. I mean, you're free to give me a bull rush if you'd like. All right. Is that just a CMB or strength check? <laughs> just be a CM, uh, CMB. Yeah. No, mainly, my question is, how are we going through the front doors of the temple? Like, um, literally that. Well, yeah, like I said um, at the beginning of session here, they're not closed, they're open to the public. I mean... That's why you guys were able to fly out them in the first place to get up to the, the top of the temple. That's why I pointed it out. A door are open. I did mention the doors were open. Uh, and that uh, that CMB uh, uh, would once again afford you the same kind of uh, uh, kind of result that trying to break through the walls did you before. As you run, 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 and though the door is made of wood, you smack into it, and it does not feel any uh, more budgeful than the stone did. Uh, and you see, uh, you guys see from the side a. Uh, I question: Did you just did you transform out of your like wispy form, or did you do it in your full? Uh, uh let's say I did my full form because uh, wispy <laughs> is kind of. I imagine it's smaller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you see the full form of uh, your dragon friend thudding into the thud, thud, thud. Um, does not seem that he is making much headway in opening it though. Hey, you assholes, help me. We might be able to budge this thing if we uh, work together. Mm -hmm.
What are you guys doing? If you couldn't push under the door, I seriously doubt you're gonna budge the door. Considering the threshold that seals it is probably less tight than that. It's not about the threshold, it's about how many ghosts we get to fucking do this shit. If it's a, has a physical form... Some of the other whispers watching you. Uh... Wait, so we can't move through the door, the walls here, because they're divinely blessed. Because we could through other buildings. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a holy site. Great. Uh, I am going to go find a priest and write in the dust uh, in front of them in um, in Sphinx to uh, open that back door. And because the dust isn't a holy site, it too should be blessed, and so I should be able to make prints in the dust. <laughs> the dust is a holy site? Well, the dust is in a holy site, so it's... <laughs> Fair. I mean, um... You go to try to find some... Uh, one of the clergymen, I take it? Yes. Uh, you find one uh, in the stands um, doing what seems to be a morning prayer. Uh, and... There doesn't seem to be anybody sitting to the left and right of it. Might assume that there's probably some dust in the air. All right. And uh, what are you doing again? Uh, in the the dust on the ground, I'm gonna write um, uh, open that uh particular door in Sphinx. Now uh, you do try, though. It does not seem like you are necessarily able to interface with the dust either. I mean, it is dust. Like. Yes. Now, if dust stopped you, you'd probably, like, not be able to fly at all. I mean, we would push it out of the way. Uh, you're free to give me a knowledge religion if you'd like. I suppose this would be a good time for that if you have that skill. Oh, yes. My 10 max. Hmm. Yeah, I would not afford you much much info in that respect. But it does not seem like your dust trick is necessarily working. Plus, his eyes are closed. He does seem to be praying. Now, there's got to be something else they consecrate here. Uh... I'm just gonna ask one of the spirits, hey, how do we get to places? Uh, I'm gonna push a candle over. Uh, you can certainly try to push a candle over, and if you do, you kind of go up and start trying to push something over, but it doesn't seem like you could push any of the candles from their holsters. I believe you guys tried yeah, to do guess... that before when you <laughs> first did that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure we did this before. Yeah, um, and it's in the same respect of why the dust wouldn't work. I mean, you can't manipulate the smoke in the, from the candles or anything like that either. You've tried to put so out what, the flames and some of those. What can we do? Uh, well, that's, I mean, if you have religion, you could certainly give me that role. We can be stuck as spirits forever. Well, we're not forever. Like, the necropolis is a place that people talk to spirits, so... We just gotta wait till they fucking open it up. Uh, dirt. Uh, yeah, I would not afford you, uh, it's not a good role, uh, unfortunately. I would not afford you very much info either. Uh, it says I'm trained, is that true? That's true. Alright. I do believe that Night Vale, however, did stick back. It did. Uh, what were you, uh, what were you looking out for? Were you just sticking with Ping Wing and them, or what, what was your, uh, what was your... I was half expecting someone to hold a necklace and me to take off of their body. Uh, Pingling himself doesn't have a necklace. He just has a diagram of a necklace. Wait. There's a physical necklace there, though. 
Yeah. yeah. It's in the, uh, yeah, that's inset into the actual Sphinx itself. Hey, all the Sphinx wear necklaces. All of them. Mm -hmm. Is there any door open that it wasn't open when I... Is there any clear entrance open? Uh, on that's the Sphinx? It. Yeah. Uh, there doesn't seem to be, and... Um... I mean, if you did a quick fly around in that respect, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything on the outside that would suggest there's an opening here. Um, though it does seem that Penguin is looking rather intently now at the necklace in the uh, inside. Did, did the place where I, we found the Sphinx's body is it open? Uh, the place, the uh, the area where you put in your your spirity. A place where we found a uh, sphinx sleeping, specifically. Uh, this... In the hotel queen. Uh, yeah, like here in the, like where you guys put in your necklace. Like I'm confused on what you're asking. Because we found the spirit of the princess in the sphinx in a chamber that opened when we revealed it. He's asking if that's open. Ah, no, that is uh, that is not. And. For all respects, it was just a small, uh, a small opening in the in your in your plane where it seemed like her spirit was being held. She just kind of wisped out. You guys can fit into spaces like that when you're in your wispy form. Why would a physical necklace fit here? Uh, it seems to be on Pingwing's mind too. He kind of squints and he looks. He seems to be like comparing both his notes to this one, and you hear the compatriot behind him. Why do you keep looking at that? Because it's interesting, and I feel like it's probably important. She kind of rolls her eyes. Well, this is fine. Take it out already. Why would I do that? This is a holy site. And he looks up. He points to it. That would be culturally inappropriate. I don't care. And she kind of, like, pushes him aside, and you do see her take out the, uh, the necklace a little bit. Kind of wiggling take it out. Take over her body. <laughs> she does start to wiggle it out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um until it finally comes free and the moment it does in the in in your plane there night veil you do see what seems to be a small little burst of something and for the briefest moment you do see the eyes of that sphinx sh like a uh, flash almost a green just for just for a moment and now she holds the necklace and she's kind of looking at it and turning it upside down back and forth Pingwing is looking. Take over her body. <laughs> well, uh, give me a second here. Uh, and Pingwing looks up, um, looking a bit nervous. You better put that back. Oh, trust me, I will. Don't get your whatever you have in a bunch. Just kind of rolls her eyes. Tsk. And uh, as she does, I you, you do see that 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 familiar vortexish looking uh, um, looking apparition. As she holds it in her uh, in her claw, might imply that that is a good time to dress forward. And as you do, Paolo, uh, let me uh, let me roll something here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> and as you do, Paolo, I do. Um, uh, you do feel yourself squeezing into that uh, that that of vortex effectively, which does seem to be a lot lot more uh, effective than um, when you tried to do it with uh, Zakira in that sense. Um, given that your necklace seemed to have worked in this place before, it seems to be working now. And you start to see, you, well, you and Penguin and the rest of them start to see what seems to be that particular uh, rogue start to writhe a bit, blinking, blinking, and she kind of stumbles to the ground, gasping. Uh, as uh, as Paolo, you do make possession of her. <laughs> In her night Slowly right. get up, and I make a prayer, apologizing to every god for what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> and Penguin is is looking at you now, Miss Hippogriff Rogue, blinking and kind of tilting his head. Uh, are you okay? And he kind of goes over and he starts to help. Uh, what happened? Uh, did you that shock you or something? I need to take note of it. Come on, tell me the symptoms. I 
look at him. Oh, I, I don't think you, you would believe me. Just, let's just roll with it. <laughs> uh, and he, he, he blinks. I'm on out with it. Angry, it's me, your best friend. Natch! <laughs> it's your best friend, what? Right. <laughs> uh, and he, he blinks, blinks, blinks. I'm gonna need a diplomacy roll for that one. I remember that one time I cast fear on you and you were on a rainy fear and then you cast a snowball on me and then I hugged you. <laughs> yeah, I still need a diplomacy here. You can use your own score for that, obviously, it's a mental score. Remember that one time I watched you were while you were sleeping? Uh, and she he blinks, he blinks, blinks, and he looks up toward his compatriots who kind of give a shrug as if like they've never seen her act like this before. Uh, 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 are you okay? Are you feeling fine? And he kind of puts a claw up to your forehead and he's like kind of feeling. And she looks at, he looks up uh, back toward like the, the bigger one of the hippogriffs. She doesn't feel like she's burning up or anything. Um, how do you know these things? Have you been spying on me? I mean, I expected you to at least be smart enough to get this. I... Uh, it's me! Night Vale! Uh, and... He blinks. He starts to kind of put two and two and two together. I saw her body! It's me! And now, yeah, now, now the equation is, has come to light. And you see his ear feathers kind of perk up a little bit. Oh, that's fantastic! And he kind of gives a really wide smile. Guys, she's <laughs> fine. And he looks toward like the bigger one, who raises his right, like <laughs> puts his axe like kind of annoyedly in his palm a little bit. It's not fine. Look, she's not right. Look, fix her. And... I I pointed him. Don't worry, we will talk later. <laughs> uh, and uh, he kind of puts his axe back on his back. Actually, I think she's perfectly fine now. <laughs> I like her. She's... No way. We have a situation. <laughs> uh, and he he blinks. Uh, well, what what's the situation? Well, for, I need you to do. Do you know the church of South Whisper? Uh, of course. And he he, hey. raises, he he looks kind of smug a little bit. I have done my hey. research. Are you gonna give him the description of the cleric who made us do this journey? Oh, and he uh, he smiles. Oh yes, I've met with him a little bit. He's pretty nice. You need to slap him as hard as you can. <laughs> uh, you're trying to slap Penguin? I want. I tell the Penguin to slap that guy as hard as he can. Why would I do that? He gave me little uh, little sandwiches earlier. We had a great time. Okay, right now, me and the other people, which I can't remember the name, are going through a journey to recover our bodies because of that guy. Well, what did you do to make him angry then? Your fault, actually, Penguin. Do you remember that tomb where you said we could raid? It w it w would be fine. And he well, Penguin. He it puts wasn't fine. He puts a hoof, or uh, sorry, a, uh, a claw into your. Hey, don't you tell me that that was my idea. I told you I didn't feel comfortable doing that. And he jabs, 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 jabs. And uh, from the side, you kind of hear the other two, like the big one leaning into the uh, the one with the liar. This is really getting awkward, isn't it? And you're telling hey, me. Hey, do you still have that wand which we gave to you? And he, he blinks, blinks. I mean, I do. And he pulls you it out. You are out of you fucker. <laughs> what was that? You are, you are also guilty. You are also going to go through a journey. You are going to lose your body. You are going to become a huge golem and fight other golems. I won't so do that, you. <laughs> yes, you will. Also, you what will. do you mean, golems? And you, you squints. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. And he, um... He, 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 he looks at the other two. Alright, well, apparently, and he looks toward Night Vale, 
Night Vale has something to show me or something about a very nice old man. Uh, so I will be off with him. Uh, and he looks across, like, he looks across the way toward the end of the little, uh, the little island that the Sphinx is on. Uh, and he looks towards you, uh, oh, Hippogriff, um, kind of gestures to your wings. Uh, you feel comfortable flying with those, I know they're not your, uh, your normal leathery types of wings. Flap, I flap. I also put a physical necklace in around. I mean, I, I'm gonna put it inside my bag because I think I'm still gonna need it for a bit. I apologize to the Sphinx. I turn to Penguin. I think I can manage it. Uh, and he, uh, he nods. Okay, uh, well, we gotta get across here. I will see uh, you guys uh, later, and I promise uh, that she will be fine. And the larger one of the two with the axe kind of like stamps a little claw. Oh, but she's right nicer like this, she is. And, uh, we'll be, I will be back for you, stud. <laughs> uh, he gives like a confident little smile. All right, I'm going to miss that already. Why do I feel the need to throw up? <laughs> uh, and Pingwing is already... Uh, seemingly running toward the water where you do see him promptly dive into it rather than flying and he does seem to be a very very adept swimmer as he starts uh going across the uh the water there i i'm gonna fly over him and when he comes out of the water i'm gonna tell him uh damien is actually on that church right above it we probably should go to tabernaments and ask for help uh he's on top and he points toward the top a little bit Yes. There's an important detail. <laughs> <laughs> and he stops, like, kind of in his tracks. So why are we go? Why were you going to take me right toward it? That's dangerous. I feel like that should have been the first thing you told me. <laughs> sure, but I wanted to... I was, I was more worried about making sure whoever I took this body from and that other guy had a terrible time later on. Wait, uh, but he, he, can, he kind of points upward so wait hold on and he's he seems to be thinking he's thinking 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 okay wait say that to me slowly one more time uh damien is over at that place he has my body he also has an unconscious sunny with him he was he Gave an evil monologue, and we should go to the bandit mains and ask them to take my body prisoner because Damien is very, very evil. He thinks. He thinks about this. Uh, right. Um, and he looks up toward the top. But I mean, and looks towards you again. Uh, you think that they would help? Honestly, and he kind of like tilts his head. That is a sacred place, and they probably don't want a fire fight up there. But I, I suppose, I don't know. And he kind of starts twiddling his claws again. Twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. He looks a little bit nervous now. I, I kind of expect people who dedicate their lives to helping other people to help us. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And he kind of, uh, he kind of bucks up his. Right. Oh, I think you're correct, and he, he, he nods. That's that's a very smart thing to do. Uh, and he looks uh, toward uh, toward the Bannermans Hall over there. Uh, well, if you want to go get them first, we can, or we could just call my friends over here, and they could probably help us out. Or, uh, well, I suppose if you they are not one. your friends. And he he turns a little. They, they. They're still acquaintances, and he kind of like they shuffles. They are not your friends. But they wouldn't even add you on Facebook. They are not your friends. <laughs> uh, Facebook comment aside, he does twiddle a little bit. A little. They're, I mean, they've helped me get this far, haven't they? No, they didn't. They probably just wanted to make fun of you when you failed. Mm -hmm. He kind of like you see his feather wolf a little bit. I really think so. 
Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, he looks back toward the island where you briefly see the two over there who are still watching you guys from a distance and the one with the, the act kind of waves. Wave, wave, wave. Doesn't seem like they can hear you from this far away anyway, uh, but <laughs> he still waves. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he looks up and down you. I suppose uh, we're going to have to deal with her once you're out of there because she's not going to be very... Uh, very happy about you doing what you just did here. Don't worry, I had sex scheduled for her. She will be busy. <laughs> uh, he gives you a disapproving glare, Paolo. Uh, not Paolo. Uh, Night Vale. That, that's that's not ethical. Okay. I I don't care about ethics anymore. After all, I had I I died penguin. How do you think ethics helping me? Not die, it didn't. I died, Penguin. It wasn't fun. It wasn't cool. He blinks, he blinks. Oh, and I'm gonna move your party icon here to the shore where you're at. Boink. Right there. And he, uh, he shakes his head a little bit. Uh, right, um, well, uh, and he looks up toward the, the top of the, uh, the tower there. How much longer do you think you're gonna be there? You're, and he, as he says, you. Like, how long are you going to be there? You kind of put quotations around it. He is evil, so he will stay there as long as he needs to. Uh, not seeing the connection here, he just kind of blinks at you. Blink, blink. What? I mean, evil people tend to have a lot of time on their hands. And he looks up um Paolo light veil in this body I need a uh, well, we'll save for me really quick we'll save yeah we'll save which should be going by your own stats because you yeah. all right thank you very much uh and um penguin just kind of blinks a little bit blink blink well I suppose it would be best if uh, and he looks toward the, the, the banner man's hall over there. Oh, you should go talk to Shen about that. He's, he's the main stitch after all. I guess so, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I take it you're taking off in that direction? To the west, yes. Do, 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 do. All right. And as you take off to the west, we move back to the party that's in the temple, seemingly trying to do rather innocuous things, such as trying to play with smoke, <laughs> dust, poke at people's noses, uh, and bothering the other spirits. What are you guys doing? Uh, hunting Fork is going to try to uh, dig his claws into the edge of the door to try to pry it open. You do see your friend. Uh, continuing to try to pry this door open with all of his might. Pull, 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 pull. Uh, and quite frankly, you, you've drawn a crowd of other small spirits that are just kind of floating around here. You manifest their forms to just watch in the bleachers. One of them seems to just kind of be leaning over to whisper. Uh, closer to you, Dur, you kind of hear them say, How much longer do you think he's going to be at that? And the other one kind of whispers back, I don't know. Honestly, it's always funny to see the new ones come in here and start doing things like that. They don't seem to have noticed you, dear. You are pretty small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, he'll do that until he's not dead anymore. They both laugh. For it was funny. Uh, uh, outside of a uh, hunting forest here, what are you doing, Gyro? Oh, well, it just occurred to me that all the Sphinx have the necklace we need to take control of it so i'm gonna try and take control of the commoner you go to one of the commoners who does have a necklace on though you do not see that same vortexish thing that you saw around um around uh, uh zakira's uh necklace nor does the necklace seem to match your own yeah that, that's the rub our necklaces need to match that's the mm. wait but then how did penguins not Pingwing, how did uh, Night Veils work? Night Veils, because Night Veils, the same one. 
the physical and the spiritual necklaces were the same. Mm -hmm. uh, Palos is, uh, Night Veils is the one that fit into there, and it was the one that was able to interface with that specific one. Mm. Uh, and uh, that being said, if you guys want, at least uh, according to what the old uh, old geezer in the necropolis had told you in the spirity form, if you want to um, use your necklace to do the same thing that Paolo just did, you need to get the physical ones from the necropolis and put them around a vessel that you would be able to uh, inhabit effectively. Um, although the physical ones are in the necropolis, uh, if your memory does do you correctly. However, you are now sitting in the exact space of the uh, uh, of the person that you are trying to uh, interface with. And it's kind of like being in the same model space in a game of Gary's Mod. It's kind of disappointing. Mm -hmm. Hunted Forest is like, man, I'm glad I'm not wasting time like that as he tries to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jared, what are you doing? I'm going to try to find some popcorn. Some ghostly popcorn. You look around for some ghostly popcorn. Fortunately, it does not seem like any of the other patrons have ghostly popcorn either. Might be out of luck on that one. He'll turn to a ghost and go, so what do you guys do wandering around here all day? And he kind of um, raises an eyebrow. Well, what does any other spirit do? Especially around this time, we're just waiting for the festival to start. It's how we're going to be able to communicate with our, uh, our loved ones. And he smiles. Do you not have any loved ones? Me? Not here, and I'm not dead yet. And they both give like an uncomfortable glare or stare at each other. You know where you are, right? Yes, yes. The <laughs> cleric of this dumb temple tricked us into going to the whatever plane we're in to deal with stuff, and our bodies are still inside the temple and alive. And they both kind of blink at this moment. Blink, blink, blink. And then they start kind of laughing. Oh, is he trying to teach you a lesson? It seems. Oh, and I do hope that he's done you well. And he kind of gives you a little bit of a tiny pat on the head. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> I'll teach him a lesson after this. I'll go <laughs> like breathe acid at the door. <laughs> you breathe. Uh, oh. you breathe at the door. It does not seem to affect the door still. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Look, are you breathing acid? You don't have acid. Yeah, well, hence, I, I... hence why. Hence why I said he <laughs> breathes at the door. It's, he just kind of. Ah, at the door, and nothing happens. Wah, wah. Uh. Um, but they are also kind of watching in amusement. I feel like he might have uh, still some lesson learning to do, if you ask me. They're talking to you, dear. Well, he's a dragon. He's never going to learn his lessons. Hmm. And you kind of think Less a little lessons bit. lessons how to hoard gold. They think for a little bit. Ah, I, I suppose that seems in line. Though I do know some fairly non-greedy Karens. He kind of raises an eyebrow suspiciously. But he's a dragon. Ah, so are Karens, yes. They're less dragony. Hmm. Fair. Consider this, consider. Well, in any case, uh, I wish you the best of luck. Especially if your Thank friend you. there uh, intends on being as still violent to the cleric as uh, he is being right now. Yeah, we will need our luck, especially to fight the evil person on top of the temple. Evil person. Today's an interesting day, Tyr says, just tilting his head to the side. And he kind of like raises an eyebrow a little bit. Evil person, you say? Yeah. Go take a look. He's up there. They look upwards, and you he's see. He's monolog. He's probably still monologuing up there, to be honest. <laughs> And uh, he kind of flitters out the door. You see him kind of wisp, and he goes to go. And about like two minutes later, he comes back, and he kind of uh, wisps next to you. He does like to talk to himself a lot, doesn't he? I know. <laughs> I know they're bad. Uh, and uh, he 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 blinks. Ah, well, uh, 
and looking up. Evil spirits, you say? Something like that? Ooh, well, you see, when this whole cleric tricked us into drop losing our spirits, um, that one had the part of a soul of an evil person in him, so he the soul took over and is now doing evil things. Well, that's not. I don't get it. The yeah. dude is fucking obsessed. Uh, Seriously, uh, ran into him like and, four and, times uh, now. And the uh, the wife of the uh, the two that you are looking at, or seemingly partner of some kind, raises a a paw. Ah, uh, possessed, not obsessed. He's both. <laughs> and uh, she she looks up. Oh, well, that is unfortunate. Hmm. The lives of mortals are so intertwined with random happenings. It seems. As he kind of shakes his head. Yes, yes. I, suppose uh, I swear both. this isn't random. <laughs> they both uh, raise their eyebrows and look at you. Hmm. Well, it's like I keep saying. It's why I prefer to only do this ceremony once a year. I don't know why uh, the other spirits are so <coughs> adamant on this happening every single day. And he kind of shakes his head. Nonsense, all of it. Yeah, if it happened more, we'd probably get out of our fucking predicament now. <laughs> uh, back uh, in the traveling duo of uh, Penguin and uh, the roguey form. Look at that. You guys are running, 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 running um, uh, into the uh, um, no, over to the uh, the actual area where uh, the banner mains here are housed. Let me just double check my notes right here. Uh, specifically, specifically uh, in case you guys don't remember, it is the building's name is the, um, they do call themselves the Guardians of the Departed. Fancy. And also edgy a little bit. But fancy nonetheless, as you guys uh, kind of go into the into the doors, open them up. There doesn't seem to be much activity going on. It is very early morning. What are you doing, pal? Or night vale? Open. I open the door. Yep, you've done that. Do I see someone inside? Uh, like I said, there doesn't seem to be any activity in here. It is very early morning. Today, a holiday. What? Today, a holiday. Is it a holiday? I, I'm asking because is today the day that everyone just goes talk with the dead? Uh, I mean, uh, it's more the fact that it's just really early morning. It's like 2 or 3 a.m. It just seems like people might be sleeping, if anything. Penguin, do you know where people sleep? Uh, do I, of course I know where people sleep. What do you take me for? I want you to, to help me scream. <laughs> what was that? I want you to help me scream. I, I'm not going to help you scream. We're just going to go find the main stitch. He starts walking in. Walk, walk, walk. Yeah. Seems like uh, Penguin's got like a little bit of a, uh, um, a little bit of a like problem walking forward as he nearly stumbles a little bit. He seems rather nervous. I, I go to the receptionist, or the place where she, I saw her last time, the one that gave me the potion of screaming a lot. Uh, I tried to see the remaining of that around. That wasn't a receptionist, and the door that she had uh, been doing all the potions in uh, does seem to be kind of locked by like 10 locks. I'm a rogue. I gotta lockpick it. <laughs> you could certainly try. Uh, give me your, give me <laughs> Night Vale's disabled device. I pull out I, I first find my disabling device to try to yeah, use it. Cause that's still like, you don't have the exact dexterity of this here. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you start to try to disable this device, though it's, it's very clear that you're not used to having claws. What am I doing wrong? What was that? What am I doing wrong? Uh, well, you're trying to get into some place that you probably shouldn't. And he kind of Wait. Like, nods. Penguin, I have claws! Look! Yeah, and he, he gestures to his own. I too have claws, Night Vale. 
They aren't that wonderful, he says, somewhat sarcastically. You have no idea how much I like Klaus Penguin. And he blinks. He blinks at you. Okay, uh, that's good to know, and he gives you a little bit of a awkward pat. Uh, don't ever say that to me in that tone again, as you are currently. Uh, <laughs> maybe. I'm <laughs> not sure. It. You know, I have an idea. I'm about to start screaming, Penguin. No, 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 and he kind of like goes over to you. Don't scream, don't scream, and he's like putting like a big claw on your beak. Hopefully you're not helping me here. <laughs> and he takes his claw away from the beak. Just shut up! And it looks like he's like blushing. Blush, blush, blush. Don't say that either. I think we I never thought you would to order me around like this. Well, it's because you're a woman now. Yeah. Uh, and he looks He looks back. Shush! You have to try to with if your girlfriend. I, you're not my girlfriend. Hey, I know, I mean, the one girl you want to, I don't know. You know? And he crosses and he keeps his beak up. I don't know what you're talking about. Wasn't she a duck? I think you bought her a duck. Don't shush! And he puts up a claw up to your beak again. Shush! Again, you're not helping me here. He squints. I hate you sometimes, you know. You are sending me a mixed message, Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> he squints and he, he gets up before uh, things progress any more awkwardly than he uh, surely expects them to. Uh, before going over, uh, he seems to be looking left and right, takes a, a left passage over to the um, the area where you know that the main stitch's office was. He starts to kind of like go to open the door, which seems locked. Why is everything always locked? Just lockpick it. Uh, you go to lockpick it. Alright, let's see this. Uh, you are terrible at lock picking it, and he he kind of snacks your your claw away. But if you don't know how to, do, just give me those tools that she uses all the time, and you got know, gestures to your bag. I. Uh. Okay. I give him her saddle bag. Uh, and you just give him the whole bag, and he says, "All right, yeah. I, guess, I guess that'll do." And he starts rummaging through it, and you see him. No, no, no. Oh no. Why would she have this? And he makes like a weird grimacey face for a moment. Ugh. Uh, aha! Here we go. And he pulls out what seems to be a set of these tools. Womp womp. Uh, and um, kind of gives you the bag back a little bit. Uh, he closes it. And he starts um, trying to do disable device himself. Oh boy, what is Penguin's disable device? <laughs> Times like please, what we need to hear, he says, mumbling to himself. You really know how to work those claws. Yup, and he promptly drops the tools. I told you to stop that. <laughs> he does not seem to be uh, very able to do things either. Uh, I don't even know how these things work, honestly. And he kind of picks it up, and there's like a bunch of little weird picks and tools on it. Uh, I have an out of character idea. I think it's time to scream. <laughs> I mean, or, or Paolo could just leave the body and then her, she can take over and unlock the door. No, I don't <laughs> trust her. <laughs> but no way. I think a nice scream though. Uh, that, I'm not stopping you from screaming. I'm just saying you pick Penguin was putting his claws up to you. Yeah, I ask him, Penguin, Penguin, can I scream now? Uh, no, not yet. And he's, he keeps trying to pick up the uh, the tools to try to see. I, I, I bet I could get this to work. Look, and he continues to fail at using the tools properly. See, I'm learning. He seems to... Why are you trying to break in? We need to ask them for help. Fine, fine. Go ahead and scream, but I'm going to be... Uh, in the doorway, as if I am just walking in on the situation. And he runs toward the doorway. No, grab him. No, I'm gonna give him the thumbs up. 
It's running away! <laughs> he stops. And he looks back at you, and he looks like he just had a near heart attack. <laughs> and he's like, how could you? He has how could you written all over his face. Uh, and um, one by one, down the hallways and things and through some of the uh, door windows, you see candles kind of lighting up or light spells being cast. And uh, all at once, bursting from both sides of the door, uh, both sides of the, the different hallways, uh, comes like all the banner mains that were here in the Guardians of the Departed. Um, the main stitch, the, the crazy alchemist, the Kirin, um, uh, who had labeled herself named as Fireheart. Uh, they all kind of bursting out. They all have weapons drawn as if somebody's like, uh, like, you know, under attack, like immediately in the ready. As if they had rolled initiative in that very moment to see Pingwing in the doorway and you pointing toward her. And Pingwing is very awkwardly standing there looking like he's got like deer in the headlights moment. Uh, I'm not, I'm not running. Look, I'm staying right here. And the crazy uh, alchemist uh, whose door you tried to pick earlier just simply shouts, Get him! And starts running to tackle him. And she... It was my joke. No, no, don't kill him. <laughs> and she, well, she seems to be the only one running forward. As she runs over there, and tackles Pingley, and kind of falls over. Thunk. Ah! And she like raises her hoof, and boops him. Boop. Gotcha. And uh, Pingwing looks like all the. He, he, Pingwing looks like if he if he was able to, he probably would have just become a pure shade of white rather than black and white. With how <laughs> just suddenly shocked he looks a little bit, and he just kind of, ah, poof, his head falls back. Uh, the main stitch, uh, who seemed to um, have a book at the ready, uh, kind of puts it back in. <sighs> What's with the early morning interruption? And he looks toward you, uh, uh, Night Vale. See, there is someone very, very evil in town, and we we do need help. Very, very evil. Yes. He raises an eyebrow. And he looks you up and down. Who? Well, you see, it's actually. Where do I start this? There is this guy who tried, who killed. Wait, who, why did he kill again? Wait, no. It killed they, you. Do you remember the bat who fur, flirted with you yesterday? With me? He points yeah, to himself. Uh, uh, and remind me, DM, uh, remind the DM, um, which bat are you talking about? Yeah, um, oh, right. Night. Night oh, yeah. I, I I asked him if he needed any help. I was like, Night Vale flirts with everyone. Not everyone. Uh, I suppose, yeah. I mean, his, his response would be like, thinking, thinking. I don't recall flirting with anyone. First of all, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you remember a bad pony? Who had a very cool looking cloak. He thinks, he thinks, he thinks. I don't recall. I know. Do you remember very do you remember very annoying Green Dragon? Ah yes, I do remember him. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the bad point that was with him? Oh yes, yeah, certainly. Okay, so that that guy is me. Ah, well I lost my body. I'll start with that then, not that he has a good looking cloak, because quite frankly, he kind of gives you a little bit of a nudge, could do some work. I... I... Uh... <laughs> Look, <laughs> he is me. I lost my body, and the person that took over my body is very, very evil. Uh, and as you start saying this, uh, you hear a yelling from your side, and what is your CM... Uh... What is your CMD? I don't know. <laughs> Just use Nightville stats for this at the moment. Uh, 10. No, wait, 13. Based, okay. Uh, oh boy. Uh, and very frankly, you get another... You get bull rush from the side as the crazy alchemical... Uh, alchemical uh, 
uh, lady comes barreling into you and you get knocked over. Ah! Get out of him! Get out of him! And uh, he, uh, she's like looking at you and she starts like trying to force open your beak. We'll get you out of there, don't worry! And the, the main stitch kind of, stop it, stop it, and pushes, pushes her off. <sighs> and uh, you are, you are free once more. He kind of helps you back up. Uh, she looks like she's just like ready for an adventure. Like she's like in let's fucking go mode. I'll oh, mind let's you, that seems to be her constant mode. Oh, I thought she had to use cocaine. <laughs> um, and uh, he he helps you out. So weird body stuff, yes. Uh. Someone took over my body. The person that took over my body is very, very evil, and I think you should arrest him for a bit. Yes. Uh, I think so. Uh, and he kind of looks uh, onward. Is who is this evil person? Um, he his name is Damien. He tried to frame his father so he could inherit everything he owns. He also kidnapped children, which it it may be worse depending. Uh, let he me also tried to rob a train. Uh, yeah. uh, he tried to kill everyone who was inside the train. I think he also cucked my friend. Terrible, terrible person from the town south of here. Very evil. Very evil. Yes. He's just an all-around douchebag. <laughs> and uh, he kind of uh, thinks for a minute. Hmm. Yep, that does sound to be quite the uh, quite the problematic individual. Where is he? He's on the top of the church. And already, he also has a hostage. Already uh, running out the door is the alchemical lady, who very promptly screams what you might have been thinking has been on her mind. Let's fucking go! And goes out the door. She uh, seems ready as ever. I like her. I think she he will run away. Uh, though she does take a left turn before you kind okay, of good. take a... Uh, she does seem to at least have enough wherewithal to know where she is going as you gesture that way. Um, Shen, who, closes, who uh, spiffies up his book a little bit, uh, looks you up and down contemplatively. How powerful is this adversary? Have you met with them before? Have you met with them in battle? What's... He killed me one spell. And he blinks. Uh, and he looks over there. Might it be wise for you to stay back then and let? Watch? No, no, I, 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 sh I, I don't think I can help it. Would, it, I don't think it's right to use someone else's body to fight to the death. What do you expect to expect to do then? Uh, I mean, no, I expect you to deal with him. Uh, right, uh, he looks toward Penguin. Alright, uh, you, uh, you, you, and me, and I mean, she's already off, and he kind of gestures out the door. I uh, can go try to see if we can meet with the problem. Uh, you, he points toward you, Palo. What are you doing? I think at this point I shall give back this lady her body back? Hmm, yes, we could use her help. Uh, okay, uh, I... Penguin, uh, make sure to take the... I won't say color again. The necklace, and hold it. So, if you put it back on my body, I can take my body back. Ah, uh, right, okay. And he, he holds out a claw for the necklace. In fact, do I remember the name that was on the necklace of my friends? Uh, you do, and I posted it in campaign notes. I mean, I, I can see it in campaign notes. I, I'm wondering if my character would remember those names. Uh, I mean, they, they were very plain, and he went into detail about it, so I'd assume yes. And we learned about them that day, so... Yeah. Uh, Nerval, uh, Nerval was Durr's necklaces lineage. Uh, Farahel is uh, Hunting Forest. Everard is Gyros, who apparently comes from a lineage of idiots, uh, according to many of the other spirits. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the Hallowell um, family was the uh, was the one that was related to that one random small child who 
they were telling you don't get his hopes up because he doesn't have any family who he's going to be able to visit. Well, now he does. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, but yeah. So Penguin holds out his claw to go rest, uh, to, 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 for you to hand the necklace to. And then he kind of stops for a minute. Wait, don't you have to come out of that first or something? Night Vale. Pala? Oh, he's left us. Oh, okay. I, I was... Oh. My keyboard bugged again. <laughs> uh, bang, bang. I, I, I'm gonna give him the list of the names, but they're gonna swap hunting titles with Doris. <laughs> You're gonna swap hunting title. All right. Yeah. Our right, hunting for us. And, yeah. and they're gonna, they're gonna tell Penguin, uh, it's on the bag you stole from me. And he, uh, well, I mean, he gave you the bag back. Are you just giving him oh. the bag again? I, I gonna look at the bag and I gonna write down. I mean, I gonna pick up the necklace. Aha! Uh -huh. Here, Penguin. Remember to put this around my. Neck. Yes, that's that's where you put necklaces. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, he nods. Okay, get this around your neck. Okay. Uh, question. And he looks. Yes. He, he 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 looks up. Uh, if I can't do that, uh, and he kind of starts twiddling his claws a little bit. I don't know. You know, things can go wrong. And he starts to seem like he's overthinking again. Then you put that around your neck and that take over your body. What? Okay, I will definitely make sure this goes around the right neck then and he <laughs> goes up. High neck. five! <laughs> Seems like that is probably not something Penguin is uh, super comfortable with, so he's definitely got a goal in mind now. Out of character, you've just made the ultimate mistake. Hunting Forest Temperament and Durr's assassin body. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, I I gonna I gonna give him a hug of encouragement. Uh, Derek, uh, get that backstab ready. <laughs> give me a diplomacy roll. Penguin, if I didn't trust you, it's because no wait, that's not what I would say. <laughs> Penguin, <laughs> if you ever thought I didn't trust you, it's because you are dumb. Because I do trust you. Yes. All right, give me that diplomacy, that wholesome diplomacy rule. All right, and he seems to very awkwardly accept the hug from somebody who he's, you're probably more than sure has made fun of him for a fair long amount of time, but he does return it slightly. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Night Vale. He says, awkwardly patting, pat, pat, pat. Uh, I... If I ever called you dumb, uh, it's only because I was uh, angry at you at the time, I promise. You're not dumb. And he pats you back. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I gonna take one step back and I gonna say some gibberish as I pretend to be doing something amazing as I let the girl have her body back. Uh, and she starts doing these weird like motions as she's, you know, your, your spirit is leaving her, you leave out the necklace. Um, and uh, as you do, she kind of falls to the ground a little bit. Uh, Shen seems to just be watching this whole thing kind of go down in front of him. And then a couple mo moments later, she, she blinks. Huh? She looks up. She looks around. She looks really, di really dizzy. What happened? And Penguin looks down to try to, like, help her up. It's fine. It's fine. You were just shamaned or something. And he's, like, helping her. Helping her up. Shamaned. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, uh, well, uh, yeah, you know, and he kind of gestures, uh, somewhat toward the door, you know, the shaman that we came in here with, he kind of, like, she looks at you, or Penguin, with, a kind of, a hazy, slightly dizzy eyes, oh, yeah, the handbag, yes, and she, How dare you? <laughs> she blinks a little bit, and Penguin, just gives a slight frown. That's racist, and you know it. And um, she kind of shakes her head. 
Right, well, how did I get here? Don't worry about it. Right now, they're going to go fight some evil things, and you don't look like you're in your right sorts. Right, well, I guess. What well, can I do for a laydown? And she kind of faints in his closet, and he kind of stumbles a little bit because he does not seem to be entire. She does not seem to be entirely in her wits, uh, and Penguin does not seem to be uh, very strong in his own. Uh, right, I'm gonna go lay her down. You guys start on your way. I will meet you there. And he I... looks into the air, the empty space. And wherever you are, uh, uh, you do you. And he starts dragging her somewhere. I, I tried to strangle Penguin. He was supposed to help. Well, yeah, he is. He just said he wants to go like lay her down for a moment because she's just gonna be on the floor otherwise. Yeah, that's fine. How dare he? <laughs> How dare he put her onto a bed? Uh, that being said, uh, where are you headed, Nightvale? I'm probably gonna follow him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you do see Penguin kind of place her up on a bed, and she seems to be kind of out for it at this exact moment. And he seems to uh, take a moment, his claws turn kind of a white, and he puts it up to her forehead. And she uh, seems to rest a little bit easier. And you hear Penguin just say, I hope that helps. And then he kind of leaves the door and you see him close it behind him. And he seems to be uh, rushing toward where the others are going. Oh uh, yes, third party into the future. <laughs> I mean, you did go to grab him. That was, uh, that was your thing. I know. Um. Back at the, uh, the temple here, have the wonderful, uh, the wonderful uh, uh, folk gathering around to watch the efforts of uh, Hunting Forest, who I would imagine is <laughs> still trying to pry away at the door in every every little way that he can. No, now he's just trying to gnaw on the uh, door handle. Hmm. Uh, and it seems like you kind of have a peanut gallery at this point. Some of the other couple few spirits that were there are just kind of sitting and watching and talking amongst themselves uh they uh they seem to have taken an interest in both hunting forest efforts to open this door uh and the fact that uh dur is about the size of most wisps both things seem to be rather amusing to most of these spirits who probably have a very boring day-to-day -day life or on life rather uh and kind of one of them kind of nudges you dare how long do you think it's gonna be till he gives up well, given that he doesn't get tired because he doesn't have a single body, he won't. That he will keep gnawing that door until someone eventually wanders back there and opens it, which hopefully happens conveniently soon. Uh, and uh, as he continues to gnaw on it, the the other one kind of like nods. Mm. Well, uh, you might have a little bit to wait. The cleric isn't exactly in right now. I think he's the only one with the keys. He kind of thinks a little bit. At least I'm. That's the only person I've ever seen open those doors. Well, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, and he, uh, they, they kind of uh, laugh a little bit. Um, you actually get a little bit of chuckles from the surrounding spirits as well from that door. Oh, none of us are, are we? Kill that there. Um, and they, uh, they continue to watch. And you know, if I was a if I was the betting young man that I was when I was still alive, I'd probably put money on it that eventually he'd get in. They smile. Well, that sounds like a good bet. Keep mm -hmm. at it, hunting. Mm-hmm. A couple of the others, like, uh, start cheering. Woohoo! Like, from oh, the, uh, from the, from the, uh, from the temple side. Uh, one of the, uh, the females nudges him, however. Casually reminds him that this is a holy site, and he stops and he looks ashamed. Uh, right, right. Uh, woohoo! He says, like in a much more quiet way. But why is he allowed to do that then? And she kind of thumps him on the up on the top of the head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, not too much uh, long later, uh, give me a perception check, ye who are in the temple. All right. Oh, 
Let me redo that because that wasn't blind. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I see Gyro, Dur, Hunting. Oh, yeah, you guys are only three in the temple there. Uh, let's see, Dur and Hunting Forest. Uh, you guys do take note that as all this commotion is going off, the corner of your eye behind you in the open doors you do see what seems to be one two three four figures one of them seemingly penguin suddenly take off upwards whoosh, up toward the top and another spirit seemingly entering the temple night veil you've entered the temple hi i I, would, I know i can't scream so i'm just gonna wave you wave! Guys, your friend Night Veil has come back. Yeah. Well, fuck him. <laughs> oh. Night Veil. No, you do. It's me, Spirit, Night Veil. Oh, right. Anything interesting happened since we left? Yes. Well, okay. go on. I, I asked the Brennamans for help, and they're going to beat up Damien. I see. Wait, right, how did you ask for help? More importantly, why did you guys take your body back? The door is locked, and we can't get through. Ah. He says as he continues the claws at the door. <laughs> uh, and uh, one of the other ones uh, from the uh, the peanut gallery there, which seems to have gathered around Night Vale, kind of like gives you a nudge. Hey, it's right, good fun it is. Look, look at him. It does sound happy. Hmm. What's got your uh, your bundles in a bunch? Yes, but I thought <laughs> you mean. Yeah, the reason around. Someone needs to uh, learn how to have a little bit of an unlife, if you ask me. He you nudges know, his friend, kind of gives a little snicker, 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 snicker. Um, I think we should go to the roof. It may be something we want to s know what happens. I want my fucking body back. Yeah, I'm with him. Yeah, if we get our bodies back, we can actually help them. I use my shamanic powers to recall knowledge. Go for it. How to open a door. Yeah. Ma, uh, give, also... give me that check. I ask working title, working title, do you have an idea what we should do? Wait, so you went and talked to people and you didn't tell them to get our bodies? I mean... <laughs> I don't think you expected I... us to be stuck by a simple door. Yeah, I talked to you with rather than a door. I'm sorry, I see I was clearly mistaken. He <laughs> bounced. A big dragon stuck by planks of wood. Uh, all of the collective laughters from Durr's comment. Just be glad I can't kick your ass right now. It's gonna be Did flying you... across the room. Durr, I knew what it felt like to have claws for a whole hour. It is so fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're good grabbing things. Yeah, I, I can grab so much stuff. Like, there was this rock I grabbed. And I wanted to try the penguin, but I didn't do it. But I really wanted to. <laughs> you got to experience claws. I can't believe Night Vale is going to be a trans speciesist. <laughs> he yearns for them. Uh, Alright, uh, and what, 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 not, what were you trying to roll knowledge for again? Like, what was your specific question? How to open the door. <laughs> uh, typically, uh... I mean, your your ancestors and your bat and your spirits all would return the same answer back to you. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Uh, I'll turn the handle. You turn the handle, or at least you try to. Uh, I mean, the handle doesn't budge, but that is how you open a door. Hmm. Well, you're about as useful as ever. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a door. Maybe it's a wall. <laughs> Did you say if he sees in the door? That's what I heard. <laughs> Just gotta, uh, I think he meant door. it isn't a door, it's a wall. It, yeah, it isn't a door. It's a wall. I mean, 
Anything's possible, I suppose. Hunting Force oh, so is just going to uh, bang his head on the door at that. Can't their fit through some small cap on the door? Nothing can fit past this door. Not even ghosty wisps. Yeah, I'm, you're... I'm gonna abandon them and go upstairs. Aren't you smaller than a wisp? I'm about the same size as the wisp. The wisp can get as thin as it needs to be, so if a wisp can't go through the door, you can't go through the door. Or a jerk can't go through the door. They do seem to be wispy. Um, I will carefully, you know, um, look over this door. I'm gonna look over this door very hard, looking for any minute crack in the wood. Just some thing or two boards that went pushed up close together. And see, can I squeeze through there? Just a smidge, yeah. You start looking at this door very, very closely, looking for any little openings you can. While well, you do find maybe some small imperfections in the wood. What you more notably find is that lined along the bottom does seem to be a very, very thin layer of salt. What the oh. hell? Oh. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. <laughs> I mean, nobody checked. I, I would like to uh, grab Palo and push him into the wall, salt wall. I mean, uh, what you hear one of them from the peanut gallery just kind of uh, starts... Uh, Start snickering. I think they found the seasoning. It was spicy for me. <laughs> we'll lick the salt. Uh, you lick at the salt, it burns your tongue. Ow. Good. <laughs> uh, where the fuck is King Wing? He's on the roof, fighting I... for his life. And they're just gonna go, um... So I have no clue what the salt actually does. Can we like not go through this or something? Uh, you could certainly give me a knowledge religion check. He's gonna try to squeeze the best salt. Ah boy. <laughs> Fair enough. You try to squeeze, 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 squeeze. Though much like your friend Cause... there, does not seem like you are much able to pass. Because I mean, my knowledge religion is um yes. <laughs> yes. Wait. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna scratch my head. Can't just working title go back into his body normally? Working title? Yeah. Perhaps. Uh, working title, try to do that. Screech, screech! He, he tries to go back into his body. Do you know where his body is? Uh, oh, did he, they also move his body? <laughs> did not seem that working title was with, uh, quote, quote, Damien, unquote. Uh. I so, guess it doesn't uh, work. <laughs> Dur shakes his head going, Why is this door airtight in a church? Do you mean so Why tight? Why is this keyhole airtight? Why is every part of this completely sealed? I don't know. This... Uh... Hey, you, ghosts. Can I possess an animal? They look back and forth between each other. Why? Because I have a pet snake who's not here and didn't get uh, her spirit taken away. They blink, they blink, blink. Ah. Well, that would just be bad, wouldn't it? Taking over the spirit of another? And they, one of them kind of stands up looking a little bit affronted. Well, we were just asking if it was possible. Usually questions like that and places where they're not supposed to, and he crosses his arms and looks the other way. I, hmm, actually, I wonder where is my snake? Uh, your snake does not seem to be in present, uh, present company. I don't believe it's a familiar, so you don't really have like a... Bond yeah, I know. Closet, but, so. Yeah, so. I'm just kind of like thinking, did I leave it with my body when I passed out? Like you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's probably eating you at this point. Yeah. Uh, yep. I was gonna say I'm I'm about the size size of it, so it probably eat you guys first. <laughs> it turns out that's what he was keeping locked behind the storm is just for the <laughs> show. <laughs> Oh, 
So, Mimi, what should I roll for a secret hint for the DM? Because I have no clue what to do. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of for you to decide, really. Although it does seem like getting past this door does not seem to be uh, entirely, uh, uh, at least currently, does not seem to be within your ability. They did mention that the cleric, the head cleric guy, does have the keys and the ability to open it up. Yeah, but we can't interact with him because we're in fucking spirit bodies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the only person who uh, could have talked to someone uh, didn't bother to get our bodies back. I mean, uh, you do hear uh, things happening up up the roof, as uh, Nightville had suggested. Uh, I guess I'll go see what's going up. Yay. Alrighty. Because shit I can do down here. <laughs> do you have any popcorn? No, there's no ghost popcorn, unfortunately. Damn. And uh, f flying out the door, there's a couple audible, Oh, he gave up, from the crowd. Um, as you leave the door, B. Um, and uh, you, you float up woo, toward the top. Uh, once again, to where you see, and I'll to bring you back to the, the temple top here, just so we can have that visual aid here. Uh, once again, you guys see uh, the uh, the sight of what seems to be the uh, the adventurers that are up on here. Um, crazy, uh, crazy alchemist lady. There's um, Ping Wing, there's the main stitch Shen, uh, who, you, who you guys have had uh, had met before, um, kind of uh, like up uh, up top here, looking at what seems to be the site of um, uh, Night Vale, quote quote Night Vale, uh, and looking uh, looking at uh, Zakira, whose eyes are open and blinking back, blink blink. And they don't seem to be breaking that eye contact as uh, Ping Wing, Shen, and the others kind of like keep their. Uh, and I'll actually put them as. Uh, I'll put them as uh, tokens here so you guys know where they are in respect. Ping Wing's right here. Uh, don't mind the uh, the name on this. If there's a name name on it. There's uh, there's Shen and. Uh, crazy alchemist lady, who I don't have a token for, so I will just put a blank one right here. Name, name it. Let's see, blank. <laughs> All right. Bonk. Um, those are like the three that are that are right there. Um, kind of like looking out over here. Um, you guys would be... I'm gonna whisper over to Dur. So do you think they're gonna kill him? Uh, well, Pingwing seems... Could accidentally. To... Pingwing, uh, does seem to have his, his claw out a little bit, right in front of Shen. I think, wait, wait. They don't seem to be moving. And it's true. Uh, Damien does seem to be staring into Sakira's open eyes for a moment. And then... Quite as frankly, uh, the uh, La Shen speaks up over them. You body stealer. There's a brief moment before uh, speaking, um, before a, a speech from Damien's mouth comes up. Hmm. I know of no such thing, though he doesn't break eye contact with Zakira. What are you doing atop the tower here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Kind of squints a little bit. Why are you looking at her like that? Hmm. And he actually finally takes away his gaze a little bit and looks at him. And very briefly, you see uh, that slight gold glimmer cross his eyes again, looking toward uh, toward Shen. Um. And he he kind of smiles a little bit. I just thought I'd have a meeting with an old friend. It's quite lonely up here, isn't it? And he looks over towards Zagira. Isn't that right? And she kind of blinks a little bit. Huh? Oh, yes. Uh, that's correct. And she smiles. Hmm. He squints. And 
and that's where we're going to leave off session today ladies and gentlemen for next time like i said today was a shorter session but i feel like that's a good place for us to uh, to leave off for today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so i'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream say bye, bye. bye.